It's time for Rick Bentley's TV Beat television program. Stay tuned for former Fresno Bee media and entertainment writer Rick Bentley as he brings the TV Beat column to television with the latest news of what's happening in local radio, television, and more. And now, here's Rick Bentley. Well, hello, and a very hearty welcome to another edition of TV Beat with Rick Bentley. As I've told you in the past, this is a show that's designed to keep you updated on what's going on in local television, radio, and film. It's really been an interesting few weeks of television, from the launch of new uh, network shows to the coverage of the concert shooting in Las Vegas. You know, it was really nice to see that in this time of dwindling resources in the local news media that several of the local TV stations sent reporters to Las Vegas to cover the story. Now, over the years, I watched as the, as the local TV stations trim their staffs. Uh, but what they've been able to do within tighter constraints is an example of, of how the product doesn't have to suffer even if, if there are tougher times. Uh, seeing interviews of local residents done on the Las Vegas Strip really showed the connection to the event, despite being hundreds of miles away. The local TV stations stepped up and again, in keeping the community informed on what is happening locally by taking the cameras outside the city. Now, there's a lot to talk about this week, so I'm going to take a break now. And after the break, I'll tell you about a, a local stage actress who will be starring in a TV movie. And I'll be back in just a moment. <laughs> Wave, the crazy spinning wave of fun. And Typhoon, launching you six stories above the boardwalk, upside down. The admission free Santa Cruz Beach Boardwalk is open daily. At the Santa Cruz Beach Boardwalk, in the warm California sun. Boardwalk! Hi, I'm Joan London. Today's senior living communities have never been better and nobody understands your options like the advisors at A Place for Mom. A Place for Mom is a free service to help you find a place that fits your parents' budget, needs, and personalities. Call today, A Place for Mom. You know your family, we know senior living. Together, we'll make the right choice. Call A Place for Mom to get your free ebook on financing senior care. Call 1-800-245-0490. Hi, I'm John Florell, the Fuller Brush Man, knocking on your screen to bring you the best products you've ever seen. Introducing Roto-Sweep, the hard floor sweeper from the Fuller Brush Company. It's a rotating broom with its own dustpan that puts the power to clean up any mess right in the palm of your hand. With no cords, bags, or batteries to recharge, as Roto-Sweep rolls across the floor, it gobbles up more and more. Whether it's wet or dry, you gotta give this a try. The secret are the triple rotating brushes that loosen, lift, and channel the dirt and debris right into the onboard dustpan. Call or go online to get the original Roto-Sweep for just $19.99. The original Roto-Sweep is from the Fuller Brush Company, making quality products you've trusted since 1906. Call or go online right now, and we'll also include this handheld Roto-Sweep. It's yours as a special bonus, just pay a small fee. Call or go online to buyrotosweep.com to get yours. Protecting your home and family is as easy as Safeco. It's easier than this, or this, or even this. For over 30 years now, Safeco has been the local company offering simple protection to homes and businesses. They service and monitor most systems, so you don't have to resort to this. Protecting your home or business is as easy as Safeco. If you're looking for an in-ground safe, record safe, or depository safe at unbelievably low prices, call Havens to the rescue. If you want a gun safe, large or small, at amazing saving, call Havens to the rescue. If you need to protect your precious valuables from fire and theft, call Havens to the rescue. For alarm monitoring, installation, locks, keys, and a huge selection of safes at great prices, there's just one thing to remember. Call Havens to the rescue. Well, because I have not one, but two guests this week, I need to get to the news immediately. Now, it's been 30 years, but the radio station KKDJ is back on the air. 
There was a time in the 80s when the local radio station was one of the tops in Fresno playing a rock and roll format. The original staff included Dean Opperman, Jeff Rydell, Mark Davis, and uh, Peter Napoli. The station is broadcasting now a mix of blues, soul, and rock on 99.7 and 94.7. The programming is a mix of syndicated products such as the Lex and Terry Morning Show, along with local on-air talent. Now, while the radio station KKDJ has been off the air for decades, the call letters have stayed in play. Gary Coca-Cola, the owner of Coca-Cola Broadcasting, got the rights to the KKDJ call letters after the station closed, and he used them for his Santa Maria television station. It was Coca-Cola who convinced Chris White, who's now the new owner of the new KKDJ radio station, to relaunch the popular radio format. In other news, Fresno's Heidi Blinkenstaff will star in an updated version of Freaky Friday to air as a movie on the Disney Channel. Now, the musical comedy is set to begin production this fall for a 2018 debut as part of what is the Disney Channel original movie franchise. The movie is based on the stage production that also featured Blinkenstaff that was based on the 1976 feature film starring Jodie Foster. Uh, Blinkenstaff reprises her role of Catherine from the stage show and Cozy Zuldorf will play Ellie in the story that follows an overworked mother and her teenage daughter who, you get it, magically swap bodies and begin a musical journey of self-discovery and empathy neither one of them could have ever imagined. Now, Blinkenstaff grew up in, the, in Fresno, got her start in musical theater at The Good Company Players, where her roles included playing Annie in the musical of the same name. She's a graduate of Roosevelt High School, and uh, her Broadway credits include The Full Monty and The Little Mermaid. Uh, those of you who have been watching the, this program know that I have repeatedly talked about CMAC the Fresno-based nonprofit organization that uh, provides opportunities for uh, the production and presentation of television uh, programming. I decided it was time to, to give you a little bit more insight into CMAC, and so I've invited Brian Harley, who's the Director of Operations for CMAC, to join me tonight. He's my first guest. Well, Brian, thanks for joining me tonight. Yeah, no problem. Thanks for having me. Yeah, look, I, I definitely, I, I have talked, I've just said, I've talked about CMAC a lot on this show, and I want to really get into what, the information people need to know about it. But before we get to that, I want to talk about you a little bit. Sure. So how did you get connected with CMAC? Well, uh, a professor of mine at Fresno State, uh, Don Priest, was on the board of CMAC before there was ever a building. You know, it took about 10 years to get CMAC going. Mm -hmm. So I learned about it from him, and uh, kind of through him, I got a job. Yeah. So, what were you were you in college at the time, or? Yeah. So I, I I'm here from I'm from Fresno originally. Right. And uh, went to Fresno State. Uh, graduated. Uh, studied mass communication and journalism. Mm -hmm. And uh, left Fresno after that. Went down to L.A. and worked uh, for Fox Sports for oh. a little while. Uh, and then came back to Fresno. Uh, worked for Catalyst Marketing Company for mm -hmm. a little bit. And then found my way to CMAC. What gave you that? urge to get into the mass media and communications? Was there something in high school as a kid? or? Well, yeah. Always as a kid, I would make these little home movies, you know, with mm -hmm. my uh, siblings, and, you know, making my sister disappear <laughs> in a magic show in right. the backyard, things like that. So mm -hmm. I've always Did you ever bring her back? Camera. Oh, yeah. Of course, okay, okay. Of course. All right. uh, but, yeah, so I just always had a camera in my hand and, yeah. uh, you know, uh, fed that interest during high school a little bit, Had some did some video projects, and same thing in college, so just always been interested in video as a medium. Yeah. Now, I, I started my career in sports, and people always want to know what was the big event you covered in, in sport. Uh, yeah. When you worked in Fox Sports, did you get to cover anything big? or? Um, well, I worked in on-air promotions. Oh, so so you, uh, we were kind of responsible for those annoying ads that would pop up on the screen during a game. Oh, that, yeah, so. that Saturday Night Live made fun of, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> sure, sure. Yeah. So that was kind of my area. But I, I got to work on stuff that was part of uh, – the Super Bowl and the World Series and yeah, yeah. yeah. and all that you brought that knowledge now to CMAC sure. so so I, I do want to get around to now to talking about CMAC but I've got to take a quick break so I'll be right back we're gonna take a quick break and uh, we'll talk more about CMAC <laughs>
you're looking for an in-ground safe, record safe, or depository safe at unbelievably low prices, call Havens to the rescue. If you want a gun safe, large or small, at amazing saving, call Havens to the rescue. If you need to protect your precious valuables from fire and theft, call Havens to the rescue. For alarm monitoring, installation, locks, keys, and a huge selection of safes at great prices, there's just one thing to remember. Call Havens to the rescue. Hi, I'm John Florell, the Fuller Brush Man, knocking on your screen to bring you the best products you've ever seen. Introducing Roto Sweep, the hard floor sweeper from the Fuller Brush Company. It's a rotating broom with its own dustpan that puts the power to clean up any mess right in the palm of your hand. With no cords, bags, or batteries to recharge, as Roto Sweep rolls across the floor, it gobbles up more and more. Whether it's wet or dry, you gotta give this a try. The secret are the triple rotating brushes that loosen, lift, and channel the dirt and debris right into the onboard dustpan. Call or go online to get the original Roto Sweep for just $19.99. The original Roto Sweep is from the Fuller Brush Company, making quality products you've trusted since 1906. Call or go online right now, and we'll also include this handheld Roto Sweep. It's yours as a special bonus, just pay a small fee. Call or go online to buyrotosweep.com to get yours. News. We've got the answer. Opinion. We've got the answer. Insight. We've got the answer. AM 1680 is the answer. With news and opinion every morning on The Hugh Hewitt Show. Live and local talk with Jim Franklin at 8. Plus Dennis Fraker at 9. Dave Ramsey with Financial Peace, noon till 3. And now the all-new Larry Elder Show, afternoons 3 to 6. Now, Fresno has the answer for conservative news, opinion, and insight. AM 1680, the answer. Well, we're back, and uh, I am joined tonight with, uh, with by Brian Harley, who is here from CMAC, and as I said earlier in the show, and as I've said many times on the show, I, uh, I really support CMAC. And uh, Brian, I, want, I really want you to talk about now for those people who have heard me talk about, it, but really may not have a complete idea of what. Let's first start back. What sure. does CMAC, CMAC mean? Yeah, there's a reason we just call it CMAC because right. uh, it stands for Community Media Access Collaborative. It's a little bit of a mouthful. Yeah, CMAC's better. <laughs> yeah. So it's, it's basically, it's a community media center where uh, people can come uh, who live in the Fresno Clovis area to learn about how to do video production and eventually create their own television programming that uh, we air on our three cable channels on mm -hmm. Comcast and AT&T, as well as uh, stream online. Yeah. Now, where does the funding come from this? Is this yeah. all... So we're funded by the cable companies. Okay. So uh, Comcast and AT&T are the two cable companies within the cities of Fresno and Clovis. So it's something they're obligated to fund uh, through kind of a federal uh, law, Communications mm -hmm. Act. Uh, so 1% of their gross revenues uh, in the cities of Fresno and Clovis go to CMAC to support what we do and give back to the community, serve the community. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I've decided I want to be part of this. Sure. Now, do I just show up one day and start playing with the equipment, or what do I have to do? Yeah, so we're a membership-based organization. Okay. And actually, I should say, you don't even need to be a member if you have a video that you've made that you want to put up on our community access TV channels. Just come down to the station or email me, say, hey, I've got a show. Here you go. And as long as you're not breaking any laws, mm -hmm. you know, we put that up on air for you. That's what we do. That's, that's community access television. Yeah. And there's no cost. Yeah, but, but Brian, before you go a step further, you say you're not breaking the law, and I get that. Right. But isn't, is there, a, is there a, uh, a boredom rule or anything like that? I mean, you know, sure. if I just wanted to put up 20 minutes of a child sleeping, would you guys broadcast that, or does it have to be something to right. it? Right. We, we hope that it tells some sort of story. Uh, that is of interest to the community, mm. you know, because we, we want uh, people to watch and people to enjoy. And, and this is about sharing information and uh, about bringing the community closer together through media, through mm -hmm. the use of media. Okay, so but uh, you're, I've called you and I've got this this video that actually yeah. fits what you, what you need to show. Does it cost me anything? It doesn't cost you anything. Uh, however, we do have membership okay. services. So uh, you can become a member for as low as $50 a year. Wow. Uh, and if you're a student, it's just $25 a year. And what that membership gets you is access to our various training workshops. So at our media center in downtown Fresno, you can come. We offer a variety of different workshops from learning how to write a script uh, to how to use a camera or lights or microphones or how to edit your, your mm -hmm. videos. 
uh, you take those training workshops and then you'll have access to equipment that you can check out and use to create your own video programming, just like you check out a book at a library. Right. Yeah. But, and you bring in a lot of experts. I know you, you, you've done a program with voiceover work. Am I correct on that? Yeah, so we, we have uh, over 500 members at CMAC, and they have various interests. And some members uh, kind of form these little meetups. So they meet up once a month and talk about topics that interest them. We have a little group of people interested in voiceover work. We have a little voiceover booth at CMAC that mm -hmm. we teach people how to use. Uh, so once a month they meet up, talk about voiceover techniques, sometimes invite guest speakers to talk about voiceover. So, yeah, it's really great. Oh, say, say, say if I had an idea like Donna Monroe, sure. who had an idea about, you know, there, about doing a, a program. Do, does, uh, does, does, is this a way, does CMAC bring people together, you know, the, the talent with the people behind the scenes so that you have a crew and, without having to hire Definitely. a lot of people? Definitely. As I said, we have over 500 members. And so we see people every day who have a story that they want to tell or something they're passionate about. And they want to learn how to do that through video. Uh, and we can help them through the classes and through other get-togethers mm -hmm. to uh, connect people with ideas to people with skills. And so they can collaborate and, and create something to share with the community. So give us an example of some of the programming you've got on the air right now. Yeah. So right now, as you mentioned, Donald Monroe, you know, former arts and entertainment reporter at the Fresno mm -hmm. Bee. Um, colleague of yours, yeah. um, has his own show about local arts and entertainment. Um, we do a lot of sports, mm -hmm. so we partner with uh, high schools, uh, high school video production classes and their teachers to produce uh, football games, soccer. Uh, we even do the Fresno Fuego semi-professional mm -hmm. soccer team. Um, so yeah, sports is pretty big. And uh, we also do a lot of government programming, so keeping people aware of what's happening in their local government, being transparent. So uh, Fresno City Council meetings and planning commission meetings and various, uh, you know, mayoral breakfasts and things like that. Yeah. So it's really a, a, a variety of, of stuff, but all of it, 100% is local programming. Okay. So if somebody's interested in being part of this, how can they find out a little bit? Is there a website or is yeah. there a number to call, anything like that? Yeah, so you can call 266-2622. Uh, that's our phone number, or 266-CMAC, oh. uh, so it's easy to remember. Yeah. Or you can go to our website, uh, cmac.tv, and you can watch everything online. If you don't have cable, you can watch the channel streaming 24-7 online, and all the content's available on demand. Yeah. And so you can sign up there on the website as well if you want to become a member or just get more information. So it's almost immediate. You can start You can you start can producing start right your show away. tomorrow. Yeah, you? you could. Yeah. Well, let's <laughs> hope some people out there want to do that. Sure. So, Brian, thanks for joining me tonight. Thanks for giving more information about CMAC. Like I said, I talk about it a lot, but I don't never felt like I really got across exactly what it is. So thanks for getting that yeah, all clear well, for we us. We appreciate so. it. Thank oh, you. Oh, no. Great. It's a great thing to support. i got to take another break. I'll be right back. <laughs> Great news if you like music like this. It's KJOY, KJOI, with Fresno's all time favorites, a unique variety of the music you know and remember. Tell us we're too young. Great songs. Spreading the news. Great memories. KJOY, KJOI, 104.3 FM, on TV channel 16.1, and on the web at KJOI.org. Hi, I'm John Florell, the Fuller Brush Man, knocking on your screen to bring you the best products you've ever seen. Introducing Roto Sweep, the hard floor sweeper from the Fuller Brush Company. It's a rotating broom with its own dustpan that puts the power to clean up any mess right in the palm of your hand. With no cords, bags, or batteries to recharge, as Roto Sweep rolls across the floor, it gobbles up more and more. Whether it's wet or dry, you gotta give this a try. The secret are the triple rotating brushes that loosen, lift, and channel the dirt and debris right into the onboard dustpan. Call or go online to get the original Roto Sweep for just $19.99. The original Roto Sweep is from the Fuller Brush Company, making quality products you've trusted since 1906. Call or go online right now, and we'll also include this handheld Roto Sweep. It's yours as a special bonus, just pay a small fee. Call or go online to buyrotosweep.com to get yours. Hi, I'm Joan London. Today's senior living communities have never been better and nobody understands your options like the advisors at A Place for Mom. A Place for Mom is a free service to help you find a place that fits your parents' budget, needs, and personalities. Call today, A Place for Mom, 
You know your family, we know senior living. Together, we'll make the right choice. Call A Place for Mom to get your free ebook on financing senior care. Call 1 800 245 0490. Welcome back. And as you can see, we've uh, took the time on the break to change guests. <laughs> ushering people in. Ushering people in. I know. It's like a revolving door. Yeah. <laughs> I, how was it in the green room out there? It was there, was there the snacks good? You, I have to tell you, this is really, you've really classed this thing up since the I, last I know, time I was I here. They have, they have catered food. It is amazing. If I'd have known this, I wouldn't have eaten before I came. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. Right. Well, you you at least way. tried the caviar. You didn't tell oh, me about the caviar. Oh, goodness. You see, you come out here to do them a favor, and what do you get? They take the caviar away. Yeah. Good so, to see you, Rick. Good to see you. Thanks for coming back. Oh, my pleasure. I was, I Absolutely. Was, I was honored you'd come the first time. So come <laughs> back. I mean, you're talking about a glutton for punishment. You so. know, it, I, I really, I got to tell you this, and, and, and I hope I don't get in trouble for saying this, but you will. last Thursday, I went for the B, and I went, oh. No. <laughs> Miss all the work you do, but I'm glad this has worked out, and, and this is this show's going really well. I'm having fun. And, and people, you, you made the business journal and, and all these really good things. So you see, good yeah. things happen to good people. I'm glad yeah. it's working And out. the police blotter. So I'm, 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 yeah, I'm getting everywhere. You know, so. the post office is what you got to work for. I know. I know. But <laughs> they won't let me pick my own front and side shots. So. Mm, I'll work on that. Seriously, though. Okay. You're here to talk about a very, very serious topic. You know, for, for 18 years, we have been doing the Great Pumpkin Blood Drive. And we've, we've teamed up with the Pumpkin King Pumpkin Patch, which is at Blackstone and Shaw. And, and every Sunday through the entire month of October, and we are now, this, well, this will be our, our third Sunday, we are asking people to come out from 10 to 6 and give mm -hmm. the gift of life, which is blood. And I'm a wuss. I don't like needles. I've yeah. been doing it for years. And, and every year, more and more people come out for it. And it has become the second largest blood drive in the country. Thanks to everybody who gives blood. I mean, it's amazing. Well, it's going to make you feel really, oh, really good. And, it really does. You know, the interesting thing, we had talked about this before we started taping the show, was that uh, if the recent events in, in oh, Vegas, yeah. Yeah. it's wonderful to see the outpouring of, of people who come out to give blood and are very supportive in that incredible time of need. Yeah. Yeah. But really, when you think about it, blood is needed constantly. Every day. It's, it's not just these big, you know, big events that, that required. It's yeah. people need it every day of their life to, st to stay alive. Well, and the thing, too, is that is that you're driving along and you, you see an accident, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and, and, and things like that. And, and you never know when you might need th that blood. So I always tell people it's insurance. I mean, yeah. let's face it. If, if you give the gift of life, and, and when you give a pint of blood, you're actually saving two lives. And, and, and the Central California Blood Center, they go through periods of times where they need, they need blood sometimes. And, and O positive, no negative. Those are the keys. Oh, those are, yeah. And I mean, everybody can have that blood. And so that's why it's really important. And we, we started this blood drive out and they thought, well, who's going to do a blood drive at a pumpkin patch? Right. <laughs> and, and so the first year we said, you just do it. We'll take care of it. We got the sponsors and everything. And this thing it took off. We've won awards. But it's not about us. It's about everybody that comes out and gives the gift. I mean, I, I only can give one unit of blood. Right. And, and so can everybody else. But you see people lining up. And it's not for the free pumpkin. This is not for all that. It's it's just the, the feeling of being able to do something. And like you're talking about the thing that happened a couple of weeks ago in Vegas. Um, there's an outpouring at that moment. People want to want to sure. get blood. The, the the shelf life of blood is is only is only limited. But when you have a situation like that, they need it yesterday. Right. And it takes a time. It takes a while to get it processed. But it's so neat to see to see this blood drive grow. And and as you and I have said many times, there's not a greater place to live in the Central Valley. And people always want to help out and, exactly. and do the right thing. And this has just continued to grow, and we're just thrilled. And so we want you to come out on Sundays. Uh, now, by the way, I have I have a couple of gifts. Now, aside oh. from the, aside from these pumpkins that we have, which they're a gift for you. We also uh, everyone who gives blood gets this really cool. Oh t -shirt. wow! And uh, and and the T-shirt. I mean, this is look at that. This is a great T-shirt, and, and that's also for you. Too. Oh, you, thank you, you very get, much. But thank I expect you. you to be out there giving blood. Oh, I will. <laughs> Trust me. Trust. But you know, the, people come out. They come out to the pumpkin patch. And it's Blackstone and Shaw, so it's not too far away. Yeah. And and the kids can come out and play in a bounce house and and, right. and and have all that fun. And everybody who gives blood goes home with a pumpkin. Yeah. And and uh, they go home with a t-shirt and they go home with that good feeling. You know? yeah, but great. I I don't have all day. Does this thing take forever? No. You can, you can be in that less than an hour. Okay. So yeah. We're, uh, an hour. We're talking about less yeah. than a lunch period or something. Oh, absolutely. Like that. And people can come out and you know. And the thing is, if it's real busy. You know, you can uh, go out and play in the pumpkin patch and come back when when your time when it's time. Okay, you know? let's get some details straight. Right. How old? What, how okay. young can you be? Yeah, okay, you you have to be at least seventeen years of age. Sixteen with parental, 
So if, if your well, mom and dad, mom, mom and dad, dad says, or okay, you have, to okay. you have to be in reasonably good health. Now, what does that mean? Well, if you've had a cold or, or, or issues like that, please, I can't emphasize enough, make sure that you have a good meal before you come out because that, that's really important. Drink plenty of, of water. And then when you get done, they, they give you, you know, you, they give you Twinkies oh, and they give you goodies. It's worth doing a dish of that, trust <laughs> yeah, me. Yeah, I mean, the, the Twinkies are great. Um, but the thing is, is that is that you stay out there, you have some food and everything. And then you can go out and get your pumpkin, play in the pumpkin patch, and, and know that you probably saved two lives. And you have have saved two lives, especially if you're O negative and O positive. Those are needed all the time. And I, I want to stress this water thing because yeah. I tried to give the last time, and yeah. I hadn't drank enough water, and it just doesn't work. Well, and, and not only that, but, but the, the water thing, too, it can affect they, – they, they do a little thing in your, in your uh, finger, mm -hmm. and, and a lot of times the, your iron uh, – can get messed up because if you don't have enough fluid in there, it looks like your iron is def is, is deficient. So the water really, I mean, the water is is, is the nature. When in doubt, drink water. I mean, okay. it, uh, for diets, you drink water. Right. They always tell you to drink. No, I have it. I have a reason that they tell you to drink water when you're on a diet, because running back and forth to the restroom, you lose ten pounds. <laughs> so I, I've always had. Yeah. But but with with water with water pertaining to giving blood. You, do, you just have to have plenty going through it. And a lot of times I, when I'm giving blood, I'll be drinking water anyway. And yeah. we'll give you all the water you want and everything. Okay, we're about to run out of time. Once okay. again, when is it? Every Sunday through the entire month of October from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. at the Pumpkin King Pumpkin Patch. Now, if you can't make it there. Wait a minute, wait. Where is the Pumpkin Pumpkin Patch is at Blackstone and Shaw in Fresno. Okay, it's pretty easy to find. If yeah, you can't you find can't, Blackstone and Shaw, you're you in just, trouble. Just look for all the pumpkins. Yeah. If you can't make it out on Sundays, you can go to any of the Central California Blood Services throughout the entire month of October. Give there, and you'll get all the things you would get on Sundays. So, okay. so it's really essentially a month-long blood drive, but Sundays we're at the Pumpkin Patch. Yeah. You guys have done great in the past, but we want to do even Absolutely. better. We, really we don't want to be number two. We, no want, we want to make this the greatest blood drive yeah. in the country. So roll up the sleeves and get out there. So. Absolutely. And, and it doesn't hurt. Believe me, take it from me. It doesn't hurt. And you're saving a life. Yeah. Greg, thanks a lot Rick, for coming in. It's my pleasure. I'm glad to promote this. And again, let's see all of you get out there and yep. uh, and give a pint. So And get a pumpkin. Yeah. All right. Got thanks, to take, Got to take another break. We'll be right back. All right. Great news if you like music like this. It's KJOY. KJOY. With Fresno's all-time favorites, a unique variety of the music you know and remember. Tell us we're too young. Great songs. The news. Great memories. KJOY. KJOI. 104.3 FM. On TV channel 16.1. And on the web at KJOI.org. New. We've got the answer. Opinion. We've got the answer. Insight. We've got the answer. AM 1680 is the answer. With news and opinion every morning on The Hugh Hewitt Show. Live and local talk with Jim Franklin at 8. Plus Dennis Frager at 9. Dave Ramsey with Financial Peace, noon till 3. And now the all-new Larry Elder Show, afternoons 3 to 6. Now, Fresno has the answer for conservative news, opinion, and insight. AM 1680, the answer. Hello, welcome to Alberto's Restaurant. Come on in. At Alberto's, you will have a new experience at great Italian dining. We have fantastic pasta dishes like fettuccine alfredo and eggplant parmesan. And you have to come in and try the chicken marsala and the calamari con limone. I take great pride in everything I prepare, and I know you will love it. And what's dinner without a little wine? At Alberto's, we have a great selection of wines to go with your dinner. Alberto's Restaurante in Pacific Road. Come and see us tonight. Salute. Salute. Well, that's this week's show, full of guests. I want to give a special thanks to both Brian Harley and Greg Lane for stopping by. As always, I've said this in the past, I would like to thank you for tuning in. Your support is greatly appreciated, whether you found the show for the first time or have seen every episode. Bless you if you've seen every episode. Now, I still need to spread the word that TV Beat with Rick Bentley is broadcast on KGMC Channel 43.5. Check out my website at www.rickbentleytvbeat.com for other details about the show. It's very important to hear from you, so contact me uh, through email at rbentley at rickbentleytvbeat.com. So until next week, I hope all your viewing is fun. I hope all the shows that you like in the new fall season stay on the air. And I will have more updates for you about what's going on in local TV, radio, and film when we meet next time. Thanks again for tuning in.